we're going. All right, welcome to session 32 of Fates. Woo! Woo. 32. Uh, some crazy stuff's gone down uh, since the, okay, so last episode, we're gonna do a little place. recap here. <laughs> By the way, everyone has their own notebook, so uh, you are responsible for your own knowledge yeah, that's and cool. notes. <laughs> That's like goofy shit on mine. Uh, and that's fine. You can <laughs> use it for whatever you want. They were 17 cents, so uh, go ham. Ooh, the college thing. rule. Wait, I got wine boy. Uh, I don't know Suck it. Rules. I just <laughs> grabbed a stack. <laughs> suck suck it. it. Like that matters. <laughs> I rolled better. <laughs> All right. However, I've... So, yeah, just big in the last episode, a lot of right. stuff happened. They killed Strahd. Mostly, I could have had that go on for much longer, but I was getting tired of the Curse of Strahd. Uh, and you guys probably were getting to that point as well. I was just getting a little burnt out on it. Yeah. And so we finished that up, and now we're back to my more or less homebrew storyline that I also kind of stole from uh, Horde of the Dragon Queen. Woo! Where the dragons... Uh, I love how that's, how that's abbreviated, hot DQ. <laughs> they... <laughs> they... Teleported, Dairy Queen. <laughs> teleported Dad has to. <laughs> out of Sulonia, where they were. And they left Vlad. Vlad and Nadia uh, had a good ending. For, it really doesn't happen in D&D. &D. <laughs> which is super rare for D&D. &D. Well, and they um, <laughs> yeah. go back and be like, oh, well, it turns out that he was yeah. a traitor, so... Oh, the king and queen That's tried and, and, uh, shit. <laughs> so tried and, and hung as a traitor to the crown. The king and queen of Salonia, it turns out as well, are uh, ancient gold dragons. I do. They I'm cast uh, gate, I believe, so that you guys can yeah. get back to Sartak City, which you arrive to find it uh, domed in a magic shield and under attack by dragons. Schniz went down. Uh, plural dragons. So where I parked my car. You did find that the sphere did uh, only kind of block dragons, so you could pass through it freely. The guards let you in after you announced who you were, and oh, you uh, went to the guild hall, met with, uh, actually went up to a council meeting that included very powerful people that you have met before. Kagan, the guildmaster, uh, Merrick, the Archmage of the University of Magi, Fen, who owns Fen's Coffee Shop, where he sells everything with coffee. Of course. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, no one knows exactly what he is, but he is super powerful. Nice. And uh, who else was there? I might, have just, might, might have just been those. And then Ol Olfgar uh, shows up. Disrespects all of the high-ranking people. Of <laughs> uh, some of you go down to help Ulfgar heal the injured. Yep. And then you have choices. Two different choices of routes you could take. One was joining uh, Merrick and the guard of Sartek City to try to fight some of the dragons. Or... The stealth route, which you chose, which is to go to the little, uh, smaller town of Sinefeld, which is a few days out from Sartek City. Uh, if you can see, you have access to the map uh, when we're not streaming, so it is to the left. Uh, you guys. To the we left of Star Trek City. The camera pointed in that general direction. Oh, yeah, but it's too low. It's not, see us. It's, it's not showing the map. Yeah. <laughs> you might be able to see uh, the my, my, my most recent creation, which I can show you guys. Uh, but I kind of want to keep it a secret. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Because it is. We need a chainsaw. It's, it is the need. most awesome thing I think I've Who's ever made bash? for D&D. &D. Yeah. <laughs> It's so good. I really wanted to show you guys what it is. And I may, toward the end of the stream, we'll see what happens. Depends on how many viewers we have. Uh, so get to sharing. Please get to sharing. Yes, if we Facebook have... Facebook post to the D&D group on Facebook is apparently not working. Yeah, that happens. We'll try that again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess they <I> banned you. <laughs> like this guy. Now. Again. Again. <laughs> That is actually where we are now. We're still in the conference room. 
with the uh, with Kagan, Merrick, Sven, and everyone is back up there, and they're still planning. Yeah, they're, guys. Yeah. they're still planning that yeah. that needs to be done. Oh, uh, something else that is important. Everyone has leveled up, so that part is good. Everyone's level twelve now, which is great. Got some new powers. Uh, Twenty-one AC. Boop. Josh, what are your things now? One hundred eighty. Yes. Okay. That's freaking awesome. What's your AC? Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Nice. Because He's in Claire. we're in full. <laughs> oh, that's full a, that's crazy. Like that's so crazy. I love that. The. Uh, just as a reminder, the shield that is up over Sartek City will last another week, which is why you had to choose one of the routes. You couldn't actually do both. Um, while you're, like, right after the part of the conversation that you were having, an individual appears in the room, a, a member of Penumbra. Uh, he has news from Cinefield. They have been moving in secret. No views. Can I get the views up there? Show the cat. Yeah. Check the camera. Make sure that you can see Rosie Cat. Here, push Rosie Cat out a little bit. You'll be famous. <laughs> Rosie Cat, the new grumpy cat. <laughs> Rosie Cat is so not grumpy, though. Yeah. Unless you're trying to cuddle and, like, outside of her terms. So we're doing a stealth mission to attack. It was yeah. the, um. The, what is it? Dragon Cults. Dragon Cults. Dragon Cults, yeah. Uh, they have been working in a secret on something that will help. Enchanters. And magic crafters, alchemists, and such have been constructing in secret a series of explosives that they have been working, uh, stealthily moving over the past few days into the sewer system of Cinefeld. Apparently, all of them are posting verbal, so that. Nah. Tommy, stop posting shit. I'm not posting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is is Miranda? She has information, information freaking out. as well on the present leader of the cultist who is overseeing the uh, overtaking and rebuilding uh, like fortification of Cinefeld. Her name is Resmir. She's a half dragon. Uh, uh, of the chromatic. Uh, I'd like to talk to her. <laughs> yeah. She is. Uh, so, like. She's a black dragon. Half, half black dragon. Yeah. Ulkar doesn't like her. Just putting that out there. So that means, uh, you know, acid breath. Mm hmm. Um, uh, I'm dragon too. Okay, I <laughs> You're not anywhere close to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, dragon. Let's talk to her. Talk to dragons. Talk to dragons. Are you But he has to talk to dragons. I talk to dragons. And there's a whole contingent of half dragon warriors that she is commanding. So that's our baddie? That's going to be your baddie. Uh, now there's two ways. Well, there's multiple ways that you can deal with that. Once you get to Cinefell, um, obviously, if you go in without any actions and just go and fight, you're going to have a very large battle on your hands. Probably insurmountable because, you know, 40 or 50 half dragons, that's going to be pretty heinous. What level are they? Did they take a group but of five level 12s? But there are uh, <laughs> there are things that can be done. I will leave those ideas to you. Do we Obviously, have the well, the bombs are being planted oh, that in the cells uh, and being guarded by members of Penumbra. 
So they're around where the bodies are. Starting to sound like the end plot of Suicide Squad now. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh. Spoilers! <laughs> Sorry for anyone who's not seen that. Hmm. Thanks, man. Sorry for anyone It wasn't really a spoiler, though. Nah. You don't know what the hell's... But there's bombs! <laughs> I mean... Shit. Of okay. course there's bombs. Why would the, there be bombs? You've had time at this point. It's yeah. a suicide to, squad. I love dude, time. <laughs> Sidetrack a little bit there. Uh, that movie's worth going to see only if, for one reason, Margot Robbie. It wasn't a bad movie. I liked mm. it. I, I know it. I liked it too. But I'm just Margot Robbie too. Yeah, good like, lord. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I wouldn't so say awesome. it's like, like it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't say to call it a must see. It's a comic uh, movie for everybody. But and, I went uh, and I had a really good time when I went. Yeah, we are I waiting on uh, a few people, so that's why we're going a little slow. Yeah, there are some other things that are happening that will happen. Um, I would like. For Eisenschmidt to be here. When well, while we're waiting for all that, can we go visit some shops? Of course, yes, shops. <laughs> Spin around. Spin is in, in the room. room with you, yeah. Good. And if you recall, <laughs> what I, I don't know, Spin. He can. Yes, you do. I do. Everybody. Knows. Everyone knows Spin. Okay. I, I, literally, everyone knows who Spin is. Is he, the, is he pretty much a Gilmore? He is then. Yeah. Okay. He. Okay, so his shop is an extra-dimensional space. That's awesome. Uh, that he can break down into a wagon and take from place to place. Is it in the shape of a blue phone box? By no. <laughs> Wait, I've been taking my bag of holding into this place. This is bad. No. Making <laughs> 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 mistakes. No. He <laughs> can also access any item from his shop through his robes. <sighs> so, Ulfgar is going to walk up. Oi! Sven. Yes? Do you have any dwarven plate? Hmm. One moment. And he pulls out this... He reaches into his robe. And he pulls out this book. It's a little tiny book, it looks like. Right. And he sets it down on the table. Uh, and actually, like, he purposefully, like, moves so he can put it directly over, like, a leg of the table, and he sets it down, and then he like grabs two corners of it, and he pulls, and it opens up, and then he pulls up, and it's this like huge book, and he opens it up, and as he's flipping pages, it's like, when he opens it up, it's like split down the middle, and as he flips pages, there's no change in the, the, the thickness. Like, it's like, it's like an old school animated book. Yeah. And he's just like flipping through. I do believe I do. Yes. I think you have a whole deal. Uh, yes, I do. How, how much would you charge for it? No. Yeah, but you have 20,000 gold now. One moment. Yeah. I, I must look. I don't want to want. Look, I just said such strong. I need to. Yeah. Ooh, there's a deal in it. We look at match guidance. Seriously. Sven is the go to guy for that. So, yes, if you're wanting to purchase items before you go do this thing. I just need some other uh, Also, uh. Oswald Spit would like a coffee, Sven? Hmm? Oswald <laughs> <laughs> would like a coffee? Get out. <laughs> Irish coffee. <laughs> An Irish coffee. You must go to the for that. Oh, sorry. I do not carry coffee. I'm going to. I do not like coffee. I don't. That's my motto. <laughs> we sell everything but coffee. We stick to it. You need to be a little more open minded, man. I said literally Lose everything else. Like <laughs> <laughs> literally everything else. What century is this? <laughs> I know. I'm just thinking about what I want to charge for it. Ow. Because the range is like crazy. 5,001 to 50,000 gold. I think it's in grand. <laughs> I think it's going to be more than that. Shit. Uh, it is 30,000 gold. What is this? Can you open the line of credit? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this item for you? You are funny. You are very funny dwarf man. No. <laughs> it's the dwarven plate. It'll give me another plus two to my AC. Damn. It's brutal. I only have 15. Uh, but say, if you only need 10, I might be able to spot you. It also allows you to negate up to 10 feet of push. Yeah. If you so choose to do so. 
Is there any way I could get like a pair of um, like I'm thinking like a steampunk kind of like eye thing that can enhance my maybe aiming? You want that? You want dead shots a little? Yeah. Boom. Something like the bracers of of archery. Yes, like monocle. but way cooler, monocle like a monocle or archery or something. <laughs> Hang on. Are there any bonus DMs guides here? I don't think so. I think so. There's another one. Bonus. Right there. <laughs> What's it? Oh, there it is. Tweet dips. <laughs> <laughs> he just asked for it. <laughs> okay, that would just be. There's, there's only boost damage. Let's say you. Uh, use a what? Dick. <laughs> what is your attack bonus? For this? Oh, in general. Just in general. What do I? What do you mean? Dex. Oh, my dex. Like, like oh. When, when you shoot your gun, what do you add to your attack? Plus Ten? No. It was it's right there. Eleven for the scatter gun. Oh yeah, it's different for each one. Pistol. Plus nine. Oh, I don't use the scimitar. So plus eleven. Eleven. Get the monocle. Yeah. Eleven. What's on this freaking dope? Well, it could be better with a monocle of archery. <laughs> I'm just curious. Okay, I, I'm trying to think of something guns. like maybe, so maybe something to increase my speed because I only have 30 speed. So maybe it's some nice face. boots. Yeah. Mm, boots. Now I do have the boots now of spotter walking. The slippers. Yeah. So I kind of mm, like those. Yeah. Can I have like my boots of the slippers of spotter walking and some of the boots like mate and make a little bit baby, baby boots for You'll me? You'll have to choose. Mm. Well, boots of so boots of speed. Um. Don't. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, if you do, the boots of your walking speed, and any creature that takes an opportunity attack against you has disadvantage on the attack roll. Right. Uh, it can be used for a total of ten minutes uh, per long rest. I have different boots of speed somehow. I have boots of speed, but they make me go fast. What part of Yeah. Huh. When you clip the boots together. Yeah. You, you, you get this walking place, speed. What's that about disadvantage? Uh, any creature that makes an opportunity attack against you has disadvantage. What? Shit. You should read the items you got, I, bro. I thought I, thought I did. <laughs> I don't know. Rainer, yeah, we're level and 12. You can click it together. Um, Is Rainer watching? Yeah. <laughs> you can click it together. Is he on his way? Again. I don't know. Rainer, are you uh, on your way? In, if you need a ride, I'll come get effect. you right now. Which, it can be used for 12 of 10 minutes in any capacity. So like, you can have it for like 10 rounds here, 10 rounds here, 5 rounds there, you know what I mean? It's not like it, it, it's click and it runs for 10 minutes and it ends. Uh, those are rare, so... Hmm. Oh, uh, how about something like a uh, smoke, like how he has these grenades that go on his chest, maybe something like a like an invasion one, like something gets too close to me, I can pop down a smoke and just get the fuck away. Pocket sand. Mean, you mean like smoke bombs? Like a yeah, something I'll make a disadvantage for like a pocket area. sand. <laughs> that just reminds me of a <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of my other campaign. There's yeah. this, there's so this asshole rogue. Rogue. diagonally. All right, Rainer, let me know when Paul gets there, and if you need a ride, I'll come get there's, you. There's there's the ever smoking bottle, which isn't like a thrown thing; it just creates smoke. Uh, like I want to be have like a, a smoke pocket used, where I just go like which like is cat. used to very devastating effect in the cleric quintet because they mix it with some horrible stuff. How do I know when things need a tune and when when things don't need a tune? It's, it's a, 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 a description. A couple more custom items. <laughs> Yell swag is a tune. Yell swag is totally in a tune. Well, I know that. <laughs> Oh uh, man, the, there's the, something cool. Uh, Let me know when Paul gets there, and I'll come get you, uh, I'm guys, just, if you have to. I don't Eli know, doesn't message you back. I don't know if there is a, a smoke smoke bomb per se. It's it would be easy enough to craft. Right. I think it's in the actual equipment section, like where they have alchemist fire. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> uh, you can just buy. That's just like regular. That's item. in the PHP. I might get some of those. Oh, that would be helpful. Out there. there. This is a tip. In fact, this is your copy. And also, um, I was looking for the cost of pistol ammo and shotgun ammo, and I um, can't find that. Mm. Ammunition. Tricky. I I may have some of that. Yes. So say that again. I didn't get that. Did you really see that? Uh, yeah, I already told him. You know. The oh, say that again. Cost. I didn't get that. If when Paul gets there and you need a ride. Let me know. I'll come get you guys. No, it is actually not in here. Yeah, we need to hear Isaac Schmidt for some role playing. Yep. It's very important to the story. <laughs> Character development no, it, stuff. It's not in here. 
Unless I'm missing it. <coughs> All right. We will probably have to. Uh, it's not there at all. Oh. What? There's. Okay. There's sort of. There is uh, what they call the dust of disappearance. It's a single use item. Uh, found a small packet. This powder resembles very fine sand. Pocket sand. There, there's enough of it for one use. When you use an action to throw the dust into the air, oh, you shit. and each creature and objects. Game fuel's back. Fuck within. Yeah. Did you just notice yeah, that? Just within that. 10 that feet red. of you become invisible for 2d4 minutes. Who? Game fuel. Not do game fuel. Oh. Oh shit. So you can use it to uh, become invisible with uh, people within 10 feet of you for 2d4 minutes, which is like a good one. Um, how much is Here's that? some homebrewed smoke bombs. Oh! Alright. 20 foot radius. Can I borrow your demons, bud? That's for five minutes? Good god. I would I would scale that down a little bit. Yeah, dude, that's. You could say what bonkers. you just said, 2d4. Well, no, that would still be I pretty I would say it would be, like it would last a few rounds. Maybe five rounds. Five rounds. Like five minutes. Yeah. Okay. How much, how much does it say that is? Um, it says just, 30 gold. Yeah. Shit. Alright, well. You can buy a shit ton. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna buy like 10 of those. I'll take a thousand. <laughs> Ten of those will be three hundred gold. All right. How much? How much gold did we get at the end of the last twenty thousand? Twenty thousand gold. Cool. Do you have some throwing hammers? <coughs> of course. Everything but coffee. And possibly some throwing axes. Yes. We have all types of general weaponry. Yes. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit here and just start reloading all my shit. So I'm gonna start just subtracting my like, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. But I don't know how much the pistol ammo is. Are you wanting the, the magical or just regular? Um. Like, are you looking? You already have the thrower, so you already have a returning one. Hey, just some. Just a why, couple of. Why do you need more throwing? You have one <laughs> that comes back to you after you throw it. Aye, but it's not sharp. If I want to throw it in somebody's head... Then you crush the head. Rainer, you, <laughs> you need a torch. You can see in little light. What? Yeah, you can see in... Who? What? Oh. He's waiting. Yeah, we're he talking about there's something like a magical torch. But he, uh, you can see in the dark. You mean like a... Like a... Like a... Uh, what is it called? Sunrods? Like a blinding <laughs> torch? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a magical flashlight. Essentially. Sunrod. But it shoots a beam of sunlight. Uh, not sunlight. Oh. Uh, per se. It's just, it's like a, it's like a, uh, flare, essentially. He wants a magical torch for his ever clear blast. Oh. That makes sense. Mmm. I gotcha. That's fair. Uh. I don't see why that would be impossible to do. Couldn't you steal a regular torch? Just light it when you we'll say it. that it will cost uh, 100 gold for a torch that you can turn on and off <laughs> that lasts indefinitely. I say you should have something like finger wise where you can just go like that. I've like got our comment. I've got our post. Power on, or something. on a group on Facebook. It was burn his hands. Though. No! <laughs> <He'd be> like, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's just pretty much a come join us. Great. I just got proof for it, so... That's great. Hmm. <laughs> we'll just go and see That's how we got up to 60 last time. Mm-hmm. I have a few things. And this is gonna this is gonna be some, uh... Inventing some item... Uh, uh, possibilities. Okay, we'll have like to talk that, I mean, about that aren't it. in here. Here's the thing, if it has to be crafted, you don't have time. Okay. So, the item, the quiver of, uh... Elona? Elana. Elana. Essentially, the the ridiculously like extra dimensional quiver. It's a bag of holding quiver. All right, yeah. I'm gonna go pick up. I want to know. Okay. Are you? Yep. All right. Getting Paul Can, or just right? Paul. I think both of them. I want to know. What the hell's Eli? It, he didn't answer. He didn't answer. What a dick. All right. Okay. He had one job. This is, well, actually, yeah. I'll start cool. with this. I'll start with this. Not a problem. I want to know if there's like a thing that is. It'll be kind of like that, but for like a scabbard. 
essentially a scab, uh, like a couple like scabbards that can hold. The quiver will do that. Well, I'm saying like that, like I have, like I'll have them on my hip where I can just pull out a different sword for a different situation. Like a javelin quiver, kind of. That's time, by the way. Okay. Uh, we have some shopping to do. Uh, off. We're gonna do the rest of this off screen, so to speak. We'll still be streaming, of course. Um, so that you guys can can you know get a get a good view of that, but we won't be recording the rest of the uh, shopping. So if you want to go ahead and stop the recording, then we will go ahead and continue with our shopping shopping. So you're looking for so you uh, stop recording. If you like oh, yeah. record, uh, sorry, you like normally handle that. I'm looking at deck of many things, please. He has one, Do but you, you can't afford it. <laughs> yes, I do.